Name authority records describe unique persons, families, and corporate bodies in A to M, typically as creators. The content and structure of these records in A to M is governed by the descriptive standard known by the initialism ISAAR CPF. We'll often just refer to names in MemoryNS. Names are shared resources in MemoryNS. Unlike archival descriptions, ownership over authority records is not enforced by editing permissions. In practical terms, this means two things. First, name authorities should not be duplicated. Before creating new name authority records, members should exhaustively search for an existing authority record for the person, family, or corporate body they wish to describe. Another video describes the process of searching for name authorities. Second, members should not alter existing authority records which were not created by their institution. In some cases, ownership of name authorities is explicitly stated in the control area, as we can see here. In most cases, ownership of authorities can be discerned by reviewing the ownership of the archival descriptions with which they are associated. This authority has no ownership statement and is associated with three archival descriptions. If we examine each of them in turn, we'll see that they are all components of one font, and MSVU is its owner. If you as a contributing member feel that an existing name authority record should be expanded or changed, contact the CNSA Archives Advisor or the authority record's owner. To create a new authority record, click the plus button in the header bar and then Authority Records. The edit form is divided into four areas which can be toggled open or closed with a mouse click. The identity area is for name and identifier information. The description area is for descriptive and biographical information. The relationships area holds relationships between authority records and also provides an alternative way, which is not recommended, to associate authorities with archival descriptions. Lastly, the control area is for information about the nature of the description itself. As a baseline, a good authority record should consist of at least the following. Type of entity, authorized form of name, dates of existence, and administrative history or biographical sketch. There are only three options for type of entity, person, family, or corporate body. The last refers to any organization, nonprofit, government agency, business, etc. that is not a person or family. Authorized form of name should be constructed in accordance with RAD rules, see section 22 and 24. Even if dates of existence are included as part of the authorized form of name, as they should, separately record them here as well. While the descriptive standard for name authorities has some guidance about this field, history should be completed according to RAD rules for administrative history or biographical sketch. When adding or editing name authorities, users should also indicate the contributing institution in the control area. Any additional information which you are able to supply is welcome and encouraged, particularly in the control area. Here you may record notes about the degree of completeness of this authority record, any sources used to complete this record, such as contents of the font or titles of published biographies, and dates on which the authority record was created or modified. Notably, while A to M considers unique identifiers for authority records to be mandatory, this is generally not done. Most users will and should leave this field blank. Upon saving this, you may see a warning, rest assured it will not be displayed to non-logged in users, and it will not impede data entry. As it is not part of RAD, most CNSA members do not record relationships between authority records, though this is possible. We'll cover this in a separate short video. Now you know how to add new name authority records and what to do if you find an existing name authority that you want to change.